Hi everyone, I'm Katie with Hillsborough County Communications and Digital Media, here to give you a quick recap from the Board of County Commissioners regular meeting on December 8th. Commissioners and state lawmakers honored members of Florida Urban Search and Rescue Task Force 3 for their heroic search and rescue efforts after the Champlain Towers collapse in Surfside, Florida this past June. Task Force 3 members worked around the clock using every resource available to clear debris and search for survivors. They left their families without knowing when they'd return, braved fires in the rubble below, storms above, and triple digit temperatures with all their gear on to tunnel and dig by hand to minimize disturbances to the rubble that was at constant risk of collapse under their feet and above their heads. As hope faded to find any more survivors, they still labored on, never giving up until every victim was identified and returned to their families. We are here simply to say thank you. The board declared December 8, 2021 as Florida Urban Search and Rescue Task Force 3 Day and sincerely thanked the first responders for their selfless and dedicated service. During Wednesday's meeting, the BOCC approved a license agreement with the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay for a new location within the South Shore Community Resource Center in Ruskin that will provide South County citizens closer access to crisis intervention services 24-7 365 days a year. The board approved an agreement between the county and the Community Foundation of Tampa Bay to administer the American Rescue Plan Nonprofit Safety Net Program that will disperse up to $5 million to eligible nonprofits that were impacted by the pandemic. The BOCC awarded an agreement for construction of Phase 1 of the Waterset Sports Complex in South County. The work will include all labor and materials, along with construction of two multi-purpose synthetic turf fields, access drives, parking, storm drainage, sidewalks, lighting, and all necessary utilities. Commissioners voted to expand the eligibility requirements and services offered through the Hillsborough County Health Care Plan, which provides health care benefits to the most vulnerable residents. Starting January 1st, those at or below 175 percent of the federal poverty level will be eligible for the plan. In addition, dental services have been added as a covered benefit. The board will be sending a letter to Congress in support of the Manatee Protection Act, which will reestablish protected status for manatees. The letter states that manatee lives are threatened by many factors and the board will continue to provide support to protect endangered wildlife and commissioners voted to send a letter expressing concern over a Florida Fish and Wildlife Executive Order regarding gopher tortoise protection. Some of the concerns include land developers holding tortoises in pens and relocation risks. They've directed the county attorney to research whether Hillsborough County has the ability to make rules that would provide additional protections beyond state regulations. The next BOCC regular meeting will be on Wednesday, January 12th at 9 a.m. You can watch that meeting live on YouTube. Just search for Hillsborough County Meetings. And for more information on Hillsborough County services and programs, visit hcflgov.net.